My name is Sally, and I'm a genetic counselor. For over 13 years, I counseled patients about their risks for chromosome abnormalities in their pregnancy. And a lot of women were frustrated at the false positive results and undue anxiety that they had with previous serum screening methods. This video is going to cover the prenatal testing options available to you during your pregnancy to assess for whether or not your baby may be at risk for having a chromosomal condition such as Down syndrome. The first type of testing that we'll talk about is diagnostic testing. These are tests that allow us to get a picture of the baby's chromosomes to assess for certainty whether or not the baby may have chromosome problems like Down syndrome. Amniocentesis has been used for over 40 years to allow us to do diagnostic testing on the baby. Amniocentesis involves inserting a needle under ultrasound guidance into the sac of fluid surrounding the baby. A small amount of fluid is removed and a picture of the chromosomes are obtained to where we can look for extra or missing chromosomes. This test is available between 15 and 22 weeks in pregnancy. However, it does have risk ranging from 1 in 300 to 1 in 500 for complications such as miscarriage. Chorionic villus sampling is another type of testing. This is also called CVS. This is done earlier in the pregnancy between 10 weeks and 12 weeks and involves taking a small biopsy of the baby's placenta in order to obtain the same chromosome picture we would normally see with an amnio in order to look for those extra or missing chromosomes in the baby. This also has similar risks of 1 in 300 to 1 in 500 for complications like miscarriage. Although these tests were able to give a definitive diagnostic answer about whether or not conditions like Down syndrome or trisomy 18 were present, because of the risks involved, researchers tried to develop new testing that did not carry those same risks. Serum screening has been available since the 1970s. This involves drawing blood from the mother's arm, looking for chemicals made during the pregnancy. The levels of these chemicals will clue a doctor in to whether or not the woman may be at high risk for certain problems and therefore benefit from testing like amnio or CVS. Approximately 95% of women who have a serum screening test result indicating that their baby is at high risk for a problem are actually carrying a healthy baby. This increased false positive rate can cause much anxiety for expected parents, and researchers have been trying to improve on this test to find better ways of testing with a lower false positive rate and higher detection that does not carry the risks of amnio or CVS. In 2011, new testing called non-invasive prenatal testing, or NIPT, was developed. This also is just a blood draw from the mother's arm. In this blood draw, instead of chemicals, we're actually looking for DNA that is created from the baby that then goes into the mother's bloodstream. NIPT allows for a higher detection of problems such as Down syndrome or trisomy 18, has a lower false positive rate, and does not carry the risks that you see with amnio or CVS since it is just a blood draw. NIPT is able to identify more chromosomal conditions than serum screening. Panorama is the name of Natera's NIPT test. Panorama is available as early as nine weeks in pregnancy, which is an entire week earlier than the other NIPT methods, which are not available until 10 weeks into the pregnancy. Panorama allows us to look for conditions like Down syndrome, trisomy 18, trisomy 13, various sex chromosome abnormalities. Panorama is also the only NIPT test that's able to look for triploidy. You can also opt to find information about the baby's gender with Panorama, although it's not required. Various other microdeletion conditions can also be tested for using Panorama. And there is a separate video that discusses the advantages of testing for these conditions. There are other things to consider when deciding on what prenatal testing option is right for you. Things like your family history, certain ultrasound findings or blood tests, as well as your age can all be things you want to take into consideration and discuss with your doctor or healthcare provider. So thank you for viewing this video. Remember, there are other videos in the series to help you address additional questions that you may have about your pregnancy. I also encourage you to talk with your doctor or healthcare provider to see what testing may be appropriate for you. 
You can view these videos and additional information by going to panoramatest.com. These tests were developed by Natera Inc., a laboratory certified under the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. These tests have not been cleared or approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.